forewarn weather with Damian Lotus. And that's a good reminder to our viewers. We are in early March, and this is when severe weather season really starts to kick up here across parts of the Southern Plains, including Oklahoma. So now is a good time to start reviewing your severe weather plans. And this is some additional video we have from that st storm of those tornadoes that made their way through Iowa right here. This is from Winterset, Iowa, taken yesterday. And as you can see, a wedge tornado, very dangerous there across parts of Iowa yesterday. Today, for Oklahoma, we have partly cloudy skies outside here for central, northern, and eastern parts of the state. We will see some sunshine, especially across southern parts of Oklahoma here as we head into this afternoon. Don't tell that to our temperatures. Look at this. We're still barely above freezing here for the Oklahoma City Metro. 35 degrees here at Will Rogers Wool Airport. These winds are out of the north, gusting 20 to 30 miles an hour. That is dropping our wind chills to the 20s here for some parts of the state, and we're in early March. Now, as we head into this afternoon, I will be tracking partly cloudy skies. Highs today will make it into the low 40, so it will be a chilly afternoon. Our normal high for this time of year is supposed to be 60. We're going to be well below that as we head into this afternoon. Highs today across the state will range from the 30s in northeastern Oklahoma to the mid 40s across southern and southwestern parts of the state. Looks like we'll get up to 39 today for Stillwater and Ponca City, 41 today in Enid. For Oklahoma City this afternoon, looks like we'll get up to 42. For our high, 43 for Moore and Norman, 45 today, the afternoon high for you folks in Chickasha. So today will be cloudy, it'll be chilly, and it is going to be a little bit breezy with those winds out of the north gusting 10 to 20 miles an hour. As we head into tonight, I'll be tracking partly cloudy skies, another cold start here for your early Tuesday. Overnight lows will be a mix of 20s and 30s. Looks like it's going to stay sub-freezing for majority of the state. Whenever you factor in the winds, this is what it's going to feel like tonight. We'll see wind chills in the teens across western Oklahoma. It'll feel like sub freezing for majority of Oklahoma. So even though it's March, you still got to bundle up here for tonight. As we head into tomorrow afternoon, this is your Tuesday forecast. Partly cloudy skies, chilly and breezy. Almost a picture, a uh, mirror image of the forecast we're seeing today, mid 40s. It'll be a couple degrees warmer, if that's what you want to call it for your Tuesday. And then as we head into Wednesday, Wednesday, we'll see sunny skies, breezy south winds. That's going to help our temperatures moderate. We'll make it into the mid 50s, even some upper 50s here across parts of the state on Wednesday. And then here comes Thursday. Look what's going to happen on Thursday. A front is going to sweep its way through the state, bring us some big changes. Before the front gets here, it looks like we'll tap 60s here for the metro. But behind the front, afternoon temperatures are going to be sub freezing and that will bring a chance of winter weather possibly to the state. On Friday, it looks like we could see some freezing rain possible across southeastern Oklahoma. There is also a, looks like an additional chance of snow, primarily for northern parts of the state. This is a forecast for Friday. Today is Monday, so you know the forecast is going to change, so just make sure you stay tuned for updates. Seven day forecast. We'll see highs today making it into the 40s, partly cloudy skies as we head into this afternoon. And then after that, we'll see temperatures back in the 40s once again for tomorrow, a little bit more moderate. 50s on Wednesday. We'll make it into the 60s on Thursday before the front makes its way in. And then, yeah, here comes that front dropping us from the 60s to the 30s. We can even see morning lows in the teens on Saturday. Weekend still looks good. And then after that, that's my kind of March weather right there, tracking sunny skies and highs in the 70s. But we got to get through what could possibly be this last little gasp of winter here for the state of Oklahoma. Understood. Wow. Yeah. And big changes, big swings. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Damien.